Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you Keiko, the cat and his friends. Now, this book is a Japanese colouring book and the same publishers have published a number of other colouring books that you may have already seen me review. So, I'll just show you here and they often feature a cat like uh, this one here and this one and this one. This one's the fairy tale based one. That one's a different sort of pussy cat. That's one of my favourite colouring books ever. So it's I think it's part of a series. So it's got a lovely white glossy dust jacket on it with pre-colouring on there. There's some information about the publishers. Lovely little pink and white inner dust jacket. And the cover art has been repeated on the matte card cover. There's nothing on the inside cover here. A lovely little title page. And then we go through our scenes. Now it's all double page printing. And the line weight is pretty fine and it's a dull black so it's not really going to be suitable for those colorists that have a minor visual impairment because there's a lot on the page and there's a lot of very small details here as well and throughout the book we see the little kitty cat on his journey so he's got a chair called cat <laughs> And it's nice that in this book, as well as the title, they've also put a number of items in English as well. They must realise that their audience is speaking English and purchasing from them. Goes on a little picnic here. And gorgeous little bee. So it's very cute, very whimsical. You'll see the images are running up into the spine, but I only got the book today and it is pushing down pretty reasonably. I don't think you're ever going to crack the spine to get right in there, but you'll get pretty close. Now paper's off-white and it's medium quality, but it's on the lighter end of medium. So we've got this gorgeous one, and he looks very realistic there. He doesn't look as cartoony as, say, the birds. So lots and lots of detail on these images here. I think they're hydrangeas. And then we go to a more cartoony style. So it's a nice mix, but throughout it all, it's pretty whimsical. So it seems like there's two artistic styles travelling together. There's a a natural, more natural style, then there's a, a pattern style and a, a cartoony style. So I actually like it. I think it provides a lot of variety. And look how they made the cat out of all these leaves. So I think it provides good variety, so if maybe you were looking for just one book with a variety of styles, like lots of animals to colour in, but also cute things, maybe some flowers and more interior scenes as well, then this might be a good one to consider. You see, they've positioned this really well too because the leaves are stopping just before the spine here. So that's pretty good positioning on that one. And 
And so this, uh, you know, looks a completely different artistic style from the others. And even though it doesn't, uh, you know, flow naturally with the other diagrams, I actually don't mind it. a lot going on in some of these images too and this one they could have positioned a bit better but it's not too bad He's tired out after all his adventures. And another black background. A nice little Christmas scene there. And then we've got a visual index here at the back. And that's it. Lovely back cover that we can colour in. So that's it for our cute little Keiko cat and his friends. Until next time, happy colouring.